Well, I really enjoyed my time working with Kevin, and earlier this year, he came to me and mentioned that we might have a chance to get a Thomas More statue. Um, this was a flagpole area, I believe, when I was a student, and then we've tried different smaller statues, having flower beds here, but this is really great, and can you talk a little bit about how you were able to obtain this, and who helped you get it here? Well, last summer, uh, we were changing out our windows, and uh, part of the job was to redo our stained glass windows in the chapel and some of our classrooms. So we need to get in contact with a stained glass company. And uh, one of our teachers, English teachers here, Ms. Gavis, mentioned that her boyfriend worked at Conrad Schmidt uh, Stained Glass Studio. So I called him and we went out and we looked at the studios and came out and, and looked at what we had. And um, in, in mulling around the factory and looking at everything, we came across this statue, and it was of Thomas Moore. And he said, uh, would you guys possibly be interested in that? And I said, heck yes. They came out with a crane and put it on the slab, and our our maintenance guys also poured the, the footing for it. Uh, the price, I tried to get the concrete donated, but uh, that didn't happen. So my own guys, Eric Waka and Tony Main, um, dug it out, poured it, and set it. And a couple weeks later, they went to came out and, and put him on the slab. Can you talk a little bit about what you did here? Sure, we basically took everything out, rotor tilted, and just basically started over with. Um, our painter, John Dolby, um, he's really good with not only painting and doing repairs here, but he also has kind of a garden in his own home, and he gave us some tips and pointers on what to do. And uh, so my guys kind of went from there, um, Eric, Eric Waka and Tony Main, and then uh, Dan Cranky, also on our staff, cut and trimmed the back, the back trees and bushes that were going up against the building. And then, so they basically prepped this and then John came in and um, suggested various perennials to be planted and then he planted them for us. So uh, we have to obviously have to keep this up now and he said these will grow in really nice for next year. And actually we have more plans for the perennials and the other two statues as well for next year too. So um, yeah, she, she was getting neglected and, and this was a huge improvement. And uh, it, looks, it looks much brighter out here.